Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in this video, I'd like to be showing you how to make a automatic Simon Says in Block 8. You can use this to make other automatic games, but I'll be showing you how to make an automatic Simon Says. Okay, so if you see that this thumbnail on this video is a bit different to all the other thumbnails, the reason is because when I was playing with Burr, I hope I'm saying his name right. He actually looked at my YouTube channel and gave me advice um, for my YouTube channel. Um, said about like not put as much text on my thumbnails and stuff like that. So thank you to Burr. I'll link his channel in the description as well if you're watching this Burr. Um, hello and thanks. So I did see this automatic Simon Says on Roblox, it was quite cool, so I looked at um, some mechanisms and then I tried to recreate it. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it did help me, so I'm going to link the game in the description, so go check it there. And for the countdown timer, I used Maxo's video where he did a stopwatch and then just reversed it. So if you look in the description, a... Um, link to that video will be in the description okay so i will link the um decals in the description thank you to it's your boy meth for making the number decals and these decals um for me so thank you very much his youtube channel will be linked in the description as well okay so as well i asked cat if um he could make any of the simon says decals or like the color decals um but then cat just gave me of a decal that was already made which were from rocket i will put the id in the description and i'll put their username in the description i'll show it up on screen now so you can say so thank you to them um so anyway what you want to do is build this timer so this one goes every second this block this one will go every 10 seconds and this one will go every minute so you have to make sure it's right as well you need to add conveyors down here like using cannons i use easy cannon 10 um and then you want to add the walls as well. Make sure you only add a space each side, well, only one side. Um, so you see, you've got like the wall here is touching against these blocks, and then you've got a gap here. Because if it's, if there's no gap, it could get stuck. And you don't add like a big big gap because it might the blocks might fall out. I'm actually going to show you first how to build the timer. So as well, the timer needs to be a block and a half tall. You need to have it so that half a block and then a full block. You can't have it so it's a full block then half a block. So make sure to have it half a block and then a full block. Because when the block is teleported, it will go here and it will push the other block upwards. Okay, so I'm going to put an M telly going from there to here. And then for over here, I'm going to put an M telly going over here. And then I'm telling here, going over to here like that. As I have to stop the blocks from coming out, what you want to do is add an invisible wall. So that's what I'm actually going to do now. Okay, so when I actually tried this, it actually was a bit laggy and it didn't work. Um, the reason was because I missed out a command. I'm so stupid. Okay, so the command you want to do is do easy movable network server. You can just do movable network server and go for each one. But it's just easier just to do easy movable network server. This will actually make the block harder to push. But it will make it less laggy. So you need to do this. And with this, you want to press all of these and then you want to press these blocks as well and then go to these and then press these like that once you're doing that you can press exit okay so as well when you are actually placing the cubes um you don't want to place them to start off with placing them at the top and then let them fall down you want to place them like going across so like starting from down here and going up okay so as well what you need to do to place the cubes is make sure they're facing the right way because say if they're facing the wrong way when you put the auto respawn on them like that um if they're the wrong way see so they'll turn and you don't want it to turn so what you can do is you need to keep rotating it where it wouldn't turn and it'll just respawn so you can actually use this command to show it and it'll show like a c so um you just want to rotate it into i think for me the right way so the top bit is pointing upwards and that bit's pointing to the side and then now when you do it as you can see it doesn't actually turn so you want to actually do that 
so it doesn't turn because it, it, if it does turn it can mess it all up so remember to do that for every uh, movable block that you do because otherwise it can mess it up so once you've got the right way where you can place the block don't place the blocks up here and let it fall down and then put the auto respawn on it because it won't work you need to make sure you place it going up so you start with nine here and then just keep going down to, um, to zero as well for each of these blocks down here you want to put movable auto respawn and then 10 for these blocks you want to put easy movable auto respawn 60 and you want to put these blocks there's often one in there on movable auto respawn 120 so you want both of them um, and then once you've done that you can just delete the blocks that are separating the m tellies from the cubes and then they'll sort this out and this will stop um, say if they get messed up it will actually because the respawn they'll respawn back and then it will actually fix it so it will fix any things that if anything goes wrong with it it will fix it as well you can use the ocean for the block to fall into so it doesn't get destroyed because if it does get destroyed it won't respawn back so you can use the ocean or you can just use a wedge and put it next to it so you'll get trapped onto the wedge so you don't need the water if you do it this way as well thank you to fur for actually um helping me with this because if i got like stuck you joined me and helped me fix whatever i was doing wrong so thank you to fur okay so now i'm actually going to show you how to build the teleporter that will bring you into the simon says match so like the timer what you want to do is the exact same so you want to do easy kind of turn on the bottom to make the conveyor add the walls around it make sure it's touching one side but not on the other you don't want to make a too big of a gap otherwise the block can fall out but because each round is going to be two minutes i'm going to do move movable auto respawn 120 and so this will go every two minutes because there's 120 seconds in two minutes so you put that like that you can move this you can add the wedge there if you want so that will respawn every two minutes okay, so as well i'm going to put the same respawn on this like that so that will respawn every two minutes as well and this is actually going to be the telly so every two minutes this will come back over here and this that block will take this block over there around the end to least to teleport people to over there so you want to go into the place where you want um the blocks to go so if you people walk in here they'll get teleported to the simon says match when the match ends um so what you want to do is do m tellies go into each block like this and then at the end what you want to do is do the m telly and make it so it goes back onto the conveyor so here like that now what you want to do is do an m telly from there linking up to the start we did the empties of here so i started it from over there so now when that respawns that block will get touched into the empty and it'll go around here and now with this block what you want to do is put this as a telly and then put it in the middle of the map so this is where everyone will be teleported like that then now when the match ends if you're standing in here it will teleport you over there so i'm actually going to show you that now as well you can use easy hide decals to hide these decals if you don't want to see these end tellies as well you can put the block to transparency one so you can't see it and put easy hide decals so you won't be able to see the block and as you can see it got teleported when it was the end so i'm just going to do easy hide decals on that and then easy hide decals on that so you won't be able to see it but it's actually still there okay so now to make the randomizer for the simon says you want to actually build this so this is just a pyramid so you can use wedges and corner wedges going across and makes a pyramid and then because obviously the ball would can go into the corner i've used wedges to cut off them corners so if it does go around here it'll get pushed down to one side and then because i can't place the ball in the middle you have to actually build this box up here which will actually make it go into the middle see it drops it down right in the middle so it respawns every 10 seconds and it'll drop right into the middle so to do this i just used pillars and then place the pillars on the outside and then place wedges with the pillars and i use the edges on the sides like this okay so as well if you're wondering what these are these are the actual when it shows up the decals of like simon says or not simon says going to each color um so that's why there is actually eight of them because there's four different colors and you can have for each colour, you can have Simon Says or 
not Simon Says. So that would be there's eight combinations. And then the ones with red, these are where the kill blocks are going to be, just to make them stand out more. So I'm just going to add the decals now. And the one that don't have Simon Says, you want to place them on these four here. And the ones that do say Simon Says, go on these four over here. The reason because is because the ones that say... The ones that don't say Simon Says, if people walk onto that colour, there's only going to have to be one kill block that goes around and takes everyone who's on that colour out. But on where it says Simon Says go to that colour, there's going to be three separate colours that if you're on, you're going to be out. So there's going to be three colours, as you can see. Okay, so to actually build one of these, it's actually quite simple. So what you need to do is place slabs going across and then pillars next to it. And then put Easy Cannon 10 on them. And then you want to place a wall going down the side. Remember to leave a gap here and then leave a gap here as well. And then next to the side of this slab, add a slab with a wedge across here like that next to it. And then you want to place walls going around the side like this, not leaving any gap this side. And then for here, you want to place an extra slabs across here because when the cube goes, this will actually stop the cube from moving by itself. And then you want to place the wall going down here like that. And then you want to make sure you put slab and then place a cube here. Remember to use the show axis because if you don't put it the right way around, it can get mixed up and it'll turn and it'll mess it all up. So make sure you place it the right way around. So when, once you place the cube, place a pillar on top and then a block behind it to stop the cube from falling because if the cube if you don't put this block the cube will just fall down make sure to place this block first to stop the cube from falling and then to place the cubes that's going to have the simon says decals and the, the not simon says decals you want to have it on full and a cube and then make sure it's the right way around as well and don't place it on top of the conveyor like that because as you can see that's like half glitched into the conveyor because it's only slabs there um so you want to place it up above here like that. And then because that is here, it will stop this from moving. But then when the ball gets TP'd, it will push it across. So you want to do this for every single one. Okay, so I've actually placed all the decals on the cubes. Remember to place them the right way around because when they get TP'd, so if you put the decal on this side, when they get TP'd over there, over there, it's going to be the wrong side. So make sure you put the decal the right side. So as well, because all these decals are white, if you want to change the colour of them, um, you can do decal colour and then change the colour. So if you don't want the red ones, you can put the red colour. The bl yellow ones, you can have the yellow colour and yeah, so on. So like that. And then because it's quite small, you can actually change the size as well. So you can do decal size and then I can do 5-5 five, five, like that. And then you can do that for each of them. Okay, so I'm actually going to change all the sizes to 10 to make them bigger because they're going to go up on that. Okay, so now what you want to do is easy, movable, auto respawn, 10, and then place it all on these movable blocks. Not these not these ones, just on the ones, the decals with the um, Simon Says and not Simon Says ones. There we go, like that. And now you can just delete these blocks here, and they should respawn back. But just don't delete the cubes by accident, otherwise they won't respawn. Okay, so I've actually just changed this telly. So instead of the telly taking you over to there, first it actually takes you over here. You get teleported to there, um, and then you go across those cannons that bring you across slowly into the telly that actually teleports you to there. The reason why I did this because it doesn't TP you straight away is because if it did TP you straight away, at the end of the round, there will be a kill block and a stat telly going around. So if they get TP'd onto the kill block or the stat telly, you can mess everything up. So, I'm gonna, so this actually delays it a bit, so it would stop people from just joining the game and straight away getting the stat, or straight away getting killed by it. Okay, so the block that they actually get teleported on, I've done power up walk speed zero, so they can't move. And then they get taken across here, because there's cannons there, so it makes like a conveyor. I don't quite slow, I'll show you in a second. And I've placed some invisible walls, and can collide off. So you just go straight through them and I've put on them easy power up walk speed 16 to put the walk speed back to normal. And then after that there's the telly that teleports you back. Make sure to not put it at the very end because if people like can climb over they can easily get into the telly. So make sure these are actually half blocks at that point. So they can't just walk around and jump and get on it because it's actually on the inside. Because it's got that wall around it. So when people get teleported they're gone here they can't move 
and all they can do is jump but I'm going to put the roof on and then when they get teleported over here they can move again okay so I've actually added M tellies going around so this M telly will go to this one and that one so it'll take the kill block going around to make sure it goes through every single block and then so when it goes around until the end here all you want to do is send do an M telly going back to the start and do that for each of them okay so as well because there was a gap here I've actually added another pillar because if there wasn't a pillar there it can actually fall out the side so I've added another pillar to stop this cube from falling out the side so I've done that for every single one and these ones kind of like the same I've placed the pillars there and I've actually removed the cube that is here because you don't need these for the kill block ones and I've actually changed the cannon speed so these ones were easy cannon 10 but these ones now are easy cannon 3 because these are slowly going to go as you can see goes quite slow Okay, so above the Simon Says platform, you want to build this kind of wall where the decals from the Simon Says or not Simon Says will be. So you want to do a gap in the middle, just a full gap, so the cube will be able to fit in there. And then do easy M telly. Click the destination because it's going to go there. And then come back over here. And then the ones that have the stand on and Simon Says, you want to click these cubes. And then to stop the cube from falling out when it gets teleported, just get the block, put transparency one, remember to have can collide on as well, and then just place a little wall going around to stop the block from falling out. You want to do this remember both sides, like that's so when the block gets teleported, um, it won't fall out. Okay, so now for the decal that says stand on the red colour, because if people walk onto the red colour that's what they're not going to do so this is where the kill block is going to go so the red colour in this case is going to be the place where you don't want to go so you can do easy M telly that's a destination where the cube's going to go and then click these here if people actually go to the colour red this kill block will go around there and kill everybody who's standing on red but if you're on the other colours um, you'll be alive so you just want to do this for everyone now and because these only have one because if you go onto the colour where it says go onto the colour um, you'll actually be out of the game because the kill block will take you out of the game um, so you can't have any other colour except from what it says but on the Simon Says colour you need to go on that colour to stay alive so the other colours that you're on they will be have a kill block on so that's why there's three of them because there's going to be three other colours for example so the red one you want to go onto the red one so the yellow green and blue ones are going to have a kill block on them okay so for the red one i am going to put them on blue green and yellow so the cubes are going to go on blue green and yellow okay then for simon says yellow you want to do green blue and red and then for simon says green you want to do yellow red and blue and then for simon says blue you want to do green yellow and red okay so remember all the cubes that i'm using like these kill block cubes you want to remember to put on them easy movable network server to make them smooth it might be harder to push but they're going to be they're going to go smoother the kill block cubes and the cubes that say actual um, decals on decals on them like stand on the color and simon says color so all of these ones they go every 10 seconds so you do easy movable auto respawn 10. now for the randomized i've actually changed it a bit because before there's only four parts where you can go into but there's actually eight parts because there's Simon Says and not Simon Says for each colour. So there's actually eight parts. So these are wedges that are slabs here just to split each colour up into two. So there's not Simon Says and Simon Says. Okay, so you see where the ball drops. I've actually made it a bit longer to make it more accurate. Because before it was quite close to this, this pyramid. So it wasn't that accurate. But So the taller you make it, the more accurate it is. Okay, so I also added cannons. Um, here going up on each side so if the ball gets stuck the cannons would push it down so for these I actually used easy cannon 10 on all the sides okay so as well I've actually added colours on each one so it helps me remember which colour it's going to so like this, these red colours will go to the stand on colour red and Simon Says go to red okay so as well for the middle part you want to add an M telly going to each block going all the way around don't let them mix up with the colours, so keep them going on the middle, just on the middle parts so of the grey parts here. And then when it reaches the end, it will TP back to this part. So this is here to stop people from just standing in the middle and not getting um, taken out of the game if they've gone the wrong one. 
So this respawns every 10 seconds and it will teleport that block over there, go all around the blocks to kill anyone who is standing on them, take them out of the game, teleports back here. Don't put that one in a loop because if it's in a loop it will mess everything up. So make sure to teleport back here and then it waits for that to be teleported back again. As well, this kill block um, respawns every 10 seconds as well. Uh, remember to place it on this block here, so right next to it. Um, just because even though that doesn't go in a loop and teleport it back, just in case, say if it like one time, it might like mess up or fall off the M telly or go into a different M telly. Um, cause that sometimes might happen, which then the respawn will actually respawn it back into the same place. So that's how it actually fix it. So that's how you stop people from staying in the middle. And as well, with the Simon Says and the kill blocks that go on the colours, I've actually changed it a bit. So instead of it having um, a wedge down the side, I've actually brought the wall closer. You can use slabs because it was further out and there was a wedge here. So I've actually brought the wall closer, removed the wedge and actually removed the block underneath it. And as you can see now, this block, when it gets TP'd, it will obviously fall down and it will hit this block. And as you can see, it's not touching that block down there, so it's half on this block. This will allow, so when the ball comes and teleports, it will push the cube over there and it will allow the ball to fall down here and then go to the next one. So as well, remember, when you do remove the blocks, you need to make sure you put the cannons back on them as well for these conveyors so the ones that have the kill blocks on them I've actually changed them to um, cannon 1 so it makes it a bit slower so it gives people the time to go on to the actual colour okay so I've actually done all the colours except from the red colour because that's what I'm actually going to show you now so all you want to do is one's going to be for the stand like go on to the colour and one's going to be on to the Simon Says go to the colour so if, what I'm actually going to do first is the one that says go to the colour so this is a stand on the colour, so the one that doesn't say Simon Says. So all you want to do is do easy M telly, put the destination as up here like this, click there, and then click so the teleporters will be there, like that. And then because when, if that falls on that, it will push that block out over there, and then the ball will fall down into this gap here. So you want to do an M telly here, so when it falls down, it will go over here and do the exact same so it will go to here like that push the ball outwards fall down and then you'll do m telly here because if the block is still there it could end up going out here go into the m telly and then go over there we don't want that to happen so to keep it safe just make a little box to keep it safe and then make it so the m telly takes it over there so when it goes here it will teleport there you don't have to keep making a load of boxes, you can do it so all of them teleports here eventually when it gets to the end. So that's on the normal, so go on the red colour. And now I'm actually going to do the Simon Says go on red colour. Remember you're going to have to do this for every colour but I've already done the colours. So as you can see that pushed the kill block. The kill block will slowly make its way down. And then kill anyone who's on the red colour because it said sand on red. Okay, so for the Simon Says go to red, you want to do the same thing. So you just want to go from here to over there like that. And then because it will fall down, you'll do another M telly like that. And it'll put it over here. Another M telly. Taking it over to here. And then another M telly here to take it back over to here so the box so I've actually already done this for all the other colours as well remember to um, don't put a pillar and then two of the pillars that same um, right next to each other because you want to do a pillar here and then a pillar next to it that's the same as you can see and then a pillar that's further down which leaves two blocks down here so the ball can actually fit down there but the reason why it's further down is to stop this block from falling into that M telly Okay, so that is actually the main part of it done, and now all we need to do is add the telly that takes you to the win, so you actually get a win at the end of each round. So, for this you need four colours. You don't need to have the um, a one that goes through to the grey bits, because at the end of each round they're going to be have to stand in on one colour to stay alive anyway from the round before. So you need to have a colour for each one, as you can see I've got colours for each one. Uh, so that's going to be the tellies that are going to take you to this thing over here so what you want to do for this is build blocks up so I've built 
um, there's two blocks in between like this there's a block here a block here and now you want to add the stat first stat add I'm going to do wins so the first block you want to do stat telly wins one and then taking you to this one and then you do stat telly wins two taking you to this one and then stat telly wins three taking you to this one so as you can see there's a pattern it goes up one each time so I'm just going to do this going through all the way and then when you reach the end um, you just stop there obviously if you keep going on it will allow people to reach a high amount of wins so now what you want to do on the bit underneath you want to do stat giver wins one like that and then just keep going across like this stat giver wins two stat giver wins three and then just keep going across like this like that so i've done it so the maximum amount of wins you can get is 10 wins obviously if you keep going on that will allow people to get more wins but i'm only gonna do it so the max you can get is 10 wins as well you don't need to build it this close to where people will be because obviously people can just jump across and collect the win if you want to you can do it this close but then um you might want to add a wall around it to stop people from actually jumping across and actually collecting the win okay so you might be thinking um that you should put a kill block now to so then they will teleport back to spawn but if you actually do this this won't allow them to actually get into the next round because as soon as the round ends the next round is going to start so if you get killed and you get teleported back to spawn, you're not going to have enough time to get to here and teleport back in there. So you're not going to have time which isn't good. So what you want to do is add a telly that takes you straight over back to the next round. So all you need to do to do this is do easy telly like this. Oh, come over here and then click each of these like this. So this will teleport them back over there. Okay, so as well, you want to have can collide off. Make sure it's just off the first bit and then keep can collide on for these bits here. So when someone gets teleported at the end of the whole round, they'll be teleported, fall down. And as you can see, I got my win. But if I do another round, it will teleport me to the same place. And look, I've got two wins now. So for the last part of actually making a, the telly, so at the end of the round, teleport you over here. It's actually quite simple to do. You want to do four different sections because there's going to be four different colours. And then you want to place a cube here. You can place, when you're placing it, make sure to place a wall like that. So when you place a cube, it won't fall out straight away. Make sure to put easy can 10 and add the wall. So it's touching this side, but not touching this side. Remember, don't add a too big of a gap. Otherwise, the block can fall out. And then on these cubes here you want to put easy movable auto respawn 120 120 seconds and it's after two minutes and the reason why it goes every two minutes is because at the end of the round this will allow the telly to go over and teleport you over to there as well remember don't place the blocks going from up here make sure to place them here and let it fall from there because if you place it from there when it gets respawned and it's get respawned it won't teleport it so remember to place it here. So now what we're we'll going to do is do easy movable auto respawn 2 and click all of these. I've done the cubes for each one and then it will keep respawning every 2 seconds. I've actually done this because these colours go in a loop. So if it just teleports, these stat tellies will be going around in a loop and then this will be a problem because the next round will go on and then the only time it will stop is every 2 minutes. So they can just keep getting the stat which is a really bad idea so that's why it respawns every two seconds so when it gets teleported it's only there for two seconds and then it comes back okay so as well you want to do easy movable network server to make the blocks slide smoother so i'm just going to click all of these like that remember to use this command on all the movable blocks you do so now what you want to do is just do easy telly like that Put hover the mouse over this bit, so the first one, and then click all of these. When these go over there, the people who've actually won the round, it will teleport them over there and it'll take them to the system. Okay, so as well, as you can see, when the stand on and Simon says go, um, it's actually a different colour at the moment. 
So to actually make it so it actually blends in, you want to do the same colour. So I'm just going to change all these colours here, like that. So now when they get teleported, it won't stand out as much. As you can see, it's a lot better now. Okay, so another thing is that you see these kill blocks that are going around. Maybe you don't want to actually see them, but you want them to still be there to eliminate people who are not doing what it says. So all you can just do is do easy, hide, decals, and remove all the decals like so. So I'm just going to remove all the ones that have the X's on because I don't want these to be seen. But I want the Simon Says and the Not Simon Says one to be seen because they're actually going to fill the gap that's over there. So I've actually had decals on them as well because these blocks are going to be teleported as well. You want to hide decals on them like so. And then you want to go to the paint tool and change transparency to one like that and then go over each one to actually make them invisible if you put can collide off the blocks will just fall through the ground so make sure you put can collide on so once you make it invisible they are actually still there but they are just invisible so you don't see them so i'm just going to click on all of these to make these invisible as well so that is actually how you make a automatic simon says game now I'm going to let some people come and play it and make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. This actually took me a long time to make and thank you to people who let me use decals and thank you for Fur to come helping me when I got stuck on the timer. So before I let people start joining, obviously I don't want them to get over there to the stat tellies and the stats and I don't want them to mess anything up so I'm actually just going to add a wall around them as well you can easy hide decals on the tellies like these tellies over here because you don't really want these end tellies so you can do easy hide decals I have to be really careful because the kill blocks are going to come around and kill me like that um, so you see easy hide decals and then click on every block until there you can't see any end tellies but remember they're still there just hide the decals Okay, so I've just added wooden walls going around like this. And then because I want spectators to actually see what's actually going on in the match, I'm actually just going to change the transparency to 1. Keep can collide on though because I don't want people walking through it. So transparency on so people can actually see through it. And then I'm just going to create a little window like this. And then I'm also going to add a invisible wall because if I don't add this, people can just wall hop out so I'm just going to add an invisible wall as well you need to be careful because if there's corners people can actually do the no clip glitch to actually get out so make sure to actually maybe on the other side add some more barriers and maybe add some kill blocks to stop people from actually glitching out so if they do glitch out they'll just walk into the kill block and then they will just get put back to spawn and then I'm going to add some spawns here like this and then easy hide decals like this so you can't see the spawns so people should spawn in there be careful because if you don't have that many spawns and people reset at the same time or join at the same time they can get on top of the invisible wall or the roof so make sure maybe add some kill blocks on top of the roof or maybe make the roof higher or just add more spawns so then it'll be harder for them to actually do like a tower up so i'm just going to unprivate this game and let people join and let's see how it goes Okay, so I actually made a mistake. Um, you know, these tellies here teleport you back there. Well, actually, kill blocks are going around at that point because it's the end of the round. So you want to actually TP them back onto here. So you want to do easy telly, make them go back onto here. This is where they'll go normally. And then click them like this. Okay, so some people have joined and they're actually playing the game at the moment. Um, oh, the round's just over and collected the win. So that's actually going to be all for this video, um, press a big to subscribe, like this video and um, we'll see you on the next video. So this video actually took a long time to make so I'd appreciate it if you like this video and if you want to subscribe. So that's actually going to be all for this video, press a big to subscribe, like this video and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.